Hello, this is Mike Parker, tour director with the Peggy Kirk Bell Girls Golf Tour, and today uh, we're going to talk about the PKBGT developmental pathway. Uh, so this will kind of give you some overview of how the tour is structured, why it is structured that way, and how it can help your daughter uh, progress through her junior golf career. Uh, so first off, uh, you know, how is the pathway structured, uh, and why is it structured the way it is? Uh, well, first off, our major goal when we started the tour was to create opportunity for the girls at all uh, phases of the developmental process. And one of the big uh, gaps that we saw was that the one-size-fits-all uh, structure for girls tournaments in the, in the, the typical uh, co-ed environment is uh, you, know, you stick all the girls together no matter their age, uh, put them at uh, usually a shorter yardage so the slowest person can um, keep up and, and, and otherwise and it's kind of a race to the bottom as far as the structure. We didn't want to have that. We wanted the girls to be in a position of to have success but also to be pushed um, with their ultimate goal of playing collegiate golf. Uh, so our system does not just factor in their age. It's also factoring in their skill level and through that using yardage-based divisions to do that. Um, the yardages in our developmental pathway gradually increase and that's for two main reasons is to give them, uh, give players the ability to continue to test themselves as they're trying to push back to that near 6,000 yards that you're needed for the collegiate game, while at the same time putting them in an environment um, to have success, to, to be able to compete, to test all of the facets of the game at each of those um, segments in that developmental process. We also have age floors in our divisions. We feel that's very important because it's also a social component to this environment. You want to be out there being with people like you, being able to engage, make friends. Uh, so we felt it was important that there's a floor to the divisions, not just uh, a height. Um, also, by doing the pathway the way we are, we're able to create relationships with uh, other associations and other tournaments for different phases in the, in the pathway so that you can earn exemptions into tournaments and develop a ranking along the way. Um, so it's to the benefit of the players, again, if you're having success along the way, then it's helping you in these environments, especially from a ranking development standpoint. Um, so the tour is set up um, along this pathway between our regional and our national series. So when you join on our membership, you can choose between those two options, either joining regionally or nationally. Uh, one of the real nice things about uh, our membership is if you join in any of our areas, it allows you to play throughout the entire PKB uh, schedule. So even if you join in the Middle Atlantic, that still gives you the ability to go play our Kentucky or our Florida series with no additional fees attached. Uh, so the regional series, these are the local tournaments, typically 18 or 36 hole tournaments, um, trying to give players an, uh, local uh, tournaments so you're not having to travel as much, your expenses are lower, hopefully you can stay at home so you're not having that hotel uh, fee, uh, but you're still getting the yardage uh, that you're looking for as far as development, so you have that prep, that futures in the discovery division at the regional level. Um, we do do points series throughout, so there's a competition that's being had for our Order of Merit Championships, and players who excel on that uh, ultimately get invited to special tournaments like our Tournament of Champions and our Linville Cup and our Regional Invitational that was played last weekend. Um, the main focus at the regional level is development. Uh, the being that 18 hole events are not nationally ranked, you know, it's not about ranking development, it's more about player development learning how to score, learning how, finding out where the gaps in your game is. Is, is it short game? Is it accuracy off the tee? Is it length? Where, where, what's, what's the issue with the player not being able to perform at our highest? Um, and the big thing here is learning how to score, learning how to win. That's a big phase for, for players as, they're, as they're, they're getting better and developing is getting those skills. You want, uh, you know, sleeping on a lead, things like that. It just, those are th experiences that you want players to go through. It's so much nicer to be able to go through that at a regional level versus when she um, gets to the higher nationally ranked tournaments or a big championship and, and then the uh, oh no moments happen, uh, which you, you'd rather have that happen in a developmental environment. Um, 
And then, so uh, as players are progressing out of our regional system, that gets you to our national tour. The national tour in 2020 is going to be about 40 events uh, from Florida to Pennsylvania, so all up and down the East Coast. Uh, we have tournaments that are some of the top-ranked events in the country um, that are a part of this national series. We do have multiple divisions, again, within the pathway. Uh, so you could be competing at 5,200 yards all the way up to 6,200 yards. So you've got those different divisions uh, within those national tournaments. Uh, these tournaments are typically either 36 or 54-hole tournaments. So um, they're, you know, they require the travel. You're going to have the stay. They're more of a commitment from the, the family perspective. Uh, but these are the environments where the players are going to be able to be seen to, to develop a ranking and to, to compete at the highest levels, you know, uh, against other players that, that may be looked at by other schools. So that's your environment um, to, to get that exposure that you're ultimately after if the goal is to play in college. Biggest thing about nationally ranked tournaments, you know, this is becoming tournament tested. This is that environment for for you to the focus is on the end result and, and to start understanding, um, you know, what it takes to play at the next level. Uh, so the progression. So uh, there's four classifications that we have on the tour uh, that you work through as you're trying to go from a, a developing player all the way up to a college ready player. Um, our class four division is our discovery division. These are our players that are nine to 12 years old who are just uh, looking for a competitive environment. It's nine hole divisions. Uh, we exclusively have these tournaments in our regional series. Uh, so if you're a nine to 12 and you're 12 year old, uh, this is a great exposure to get some competition, you're typically playing about 1800 yards and getting ready for 18 and 36 hole tournaments. Um, our class three division, uh, which is our futures level. This is going to be the default level if you join our tour where you will start. This is for players in their 12-year-old year all the way up until you're a senior in high school. Uh, we determine your, your floor, so you have to be uh, turning 12 by September 30th of the season to be considered a futures eligible player. Uh, so the Futures tournaments, we have them both at the regional and the national level. Uh, these tournaments are going to range from 5,000 to 5,400 yards, depending if you're playing regionally or nationally. Um, and again, are a great exposure to starting to learn how to compete, um, developing your on-course skills, and, and those. Uh, at our national level, our Futures national divisions are nationally ranked tournaments. So players are still able to start developing, compete, um, at that yardage, at that, that 5,200, 5,400 yardage. As those players are starting to develop and, and needing more of a test, that is where our class two comes in. This is our prep level and our futures national level. Uh, so these players are looking for some additional yardage to be able to start working back to the collegiate yardage. Uh, our prep events are going to range anywhere from 55 to 5,800 yards. Uh, so again, you're starting to move back uh, closer to that gold white tee at most golf courses. Uh, these tournaments are offered low regionally, so you have those 18 and 36 hole events at the prep level, um, as well as then at our national level, you have our prep preview division and our futures national division that class two players can participate in. Uh, so that's getting you that access and the getting that competition um, at these transition yardages. Uh, one of the real nice things about having a, a more robust uh, prep preview division, this year it's going to be 10 to 12 events, uh, is that players are not having to make this big jump from 5,200 yards all the way to 6,000. You're able to spend that season um, making that transition at that uh, 56, 5,800 yard level. Again, looking at the way you're um, ranking and you're, you're judged as far as colleges that are looking at you as your scores. So you want to be continue to be putting up quality scores as you're making your development. Um, and last but not least, we have our class one. So this is our highest level of competition that we offer on the PKB. Um, this will get you into our Bell National events as well as our prep events. 
Uh, so class one players do have access to both of those divisions. At the regional level, you have those prep um, events. And then at the national level, we have our Bell National and our prep preview. Um, one of the nice things uh, for Class 1 players at that regional level is you can go use those prep events to either go work on something that's a time where you're looking for a tournament that isn't nationally ranked, so you can go and do some development and work. Maybe you started a swing change. Maybe you've been working on something you want to test it out. That's what those tournaments are for. It's a great opportunity to go work on it in a competitive environment, but not a nationally ranked environment. Um, at the national level, you've got Prep Preview and Bell National. Um, so depending uh, on the yardage at the given event, uh, your Bell events are going to be anywhere from 5,800 to 6,200 yards. So these are going to be all the way back at collegiate setups. Uh, that's our focus when we build the setup for a golf course is what would a college do at this tournament. Um, so that's uh, what you're getting at that uh, Bell level. Uh, so uh, one of the things that I do get asked a lot about the progression is when is it the right time for my daughter to move up uh, one of these divisions. Uh, one of the adages I always use is move up to the middle. So if you are, are evaluating whether it's time to go to the next level, you want to think about it as if I move my daughter up, if she can get up to that next level, is she going to finish in the middle of the pack or is she going to be at the bottom of the field? If she's going to be at the bottom of the field, it may not be the right time. Um, that means that she's not able to score at the comparable level to players that are playing at that level, which, again, poor scores, poor results are just indicative that maybe this player is not, you know, especially as you move up the chain, that a college may be interested in or otherwise. So you want to be moving on the pathway as you're having success, not just because you feel you have to or you're trying to keep up with a friend or whatever other factors that may be in play, you want to look at it from, okay, if I move up, am I moving up towards the middle of the pack? If so, then it's probably the right time. Now, the, there are a couple facets to that. Yardage is a big piece. If your player is a younger player and may not hit the ball far enough yet, then you may want to be more conservative in how quickly we're progressing up the progression, um, being that they don't have enough yardage off the tee uh, to be able to handle the longer course. Maybe they have broken in short games, a real accurate iron play, that can really make you a really top-notch futures level player. Um, but that doesn't mean you're immediately ready to start moving up to the next competition. Um, the, um, okay, so in summary with the, the pathway progression, um, how is it structured? We both have the four levels uh, along the way of our classifications, as well as tournaments both at a regional and national level, depending on whether you're uh, more in the developmental or starting to develop a ranking. Um, if you have any questions about the, uh, our pathway, we have more information on our website, pkbgt.org, or please feel free to email me or give us a call. I'd be glad to talk with, uh, with you about uh, your daughter and where she fits in and what's best for her.